really really fascinating intriguing so this is also interesting symbolism ah almost looks like the other rune here the arrow rune this is lagos this is the water rune um yeah it's uh it's sacred to the god Njord. but the name lagos can also mean leak actually this is also interesting uh sometimes you can't come off that can come up with that so water it is said here water is the source of life okay and all life came from the waters of Niflheim, like I said before. It's interesting symbolism, but I guess you really can come up with with your own uh, with your own meanings for this card and um, find associations for it. So almost there. This is Ingus. Ingus is the man, the the uh, rune for man for men uh, and uh, it's also for fertility and um yeah and this this egg of course the egg is uh, the symbol of uh, fertility and rebirth and uh the circle of life and it is uh sacred to the god Freyr and is connected to spring like in uh like for Astara. So here, Dagas, the day rune. It's also lovely because uh, there's a re resemblance to the um, German word Tag, day, Dagas. This is also interesting. Um, yeah, describes. It describes more the the um, the daylight. Uh, instead of the day, the part of the day or the, the day itself, it uh, refers to the light aspect of the day. So it stands for illumination, for clarity, for awakening, and it's also a sign for protection against uh, witchcraft. <laughs> so, so now the last rune here is Otala, Otala, Othala, how you want to pronounce it correctly. Mm, this is for um, Othala. Um, oh, it's and I have to I have to find a word for that because I don't know. It's a peace rune, basically. It's a protection rune for your for your homestead and so on. Uh, it's also related to a German word, um, um, Odal. The 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 word Odal is not a German word. It's I guess an old Germanic word. But uh, from that comes the word Adel. Uh, what does Adel mean? High society, Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth, and so on. <laughs> Queens and kings, and so so that is Adel. I will put in the word when I research that. Yeah, these were the the runes actually, and now we come to the smaller sections. Hopefully, smaller sections. I'm already so long. In this video so we will come to the uh, festivals uh, the wheel of the year festivals here we have the the um, the yule or winter solstice card and i told you already in the first part of the video a lot of that about the raunechte and the wild hunt so you can see the the picture in color and it's so lovely here i really like that the tree and the <laughs> The ornaments in the tree and this timber framed house really love timber timber framed houses. So now, like I told you about Fasenacht, Fastnacht, or Fastnot, how this is called here in this card. Here you can see some of the kind of um, masks and um, yeah costumes, um, which are still, uh, which people still wearing uh, in the south of Germany during this time. Uh, this time the uh, winter austreibung the chasing away of the winter so this is um this is the card for fastnacht fastnacht or imbolc in the celtic tradition here we have ostara yeah this is really really lovely and really i guess you can come up with your very own 
very, very own meanings for that. Here we have uh, Beltane or Huamayan. And it is also said here, we call it also, um, um, this is something I forget to tell you. Um, oh, Lily, I will play with you no, <laughs> no amount of time. So, um, yeah, uh, this is also called um, the night before uh, the 1st of May uh, is called Walpurgisnacht after the Let's have to look look up uh, a bit more, search more about Valpurgis. It's also kind of goddess related. I have to find something about that. I will surely I will make them. will mention that in another video some someday. Mm. But um, it is also said that um, um, that on the night that on Valpurgis night or Valpurgis Nacht. Witches are dancing on the Brocken, which is the highest peak in the Harz Mountains. And uh, this is uh, <laughs> quite, uh, quite, uh, yeah, well known, but not an old myth or so. It, is, it was invented by uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. So, <laughs> not su such an old uh, custom and not such an old tradition <laughs> as you might think. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's not so old at all. Here, now we come to the summer solstice. This looks really gorgeous. It looks also a bit like um, uh, the Maya festivals with this tree here. A bit like that here. And um, this kind uh, is still celebrated in uh Scandinavia, in, in Sweden and in Norway. Uh, and this is something I really like. Sometimes I think we are missing a lot of nice old traditions here. But we can come up with your own new traditions and maybe mix traditions with uh, old with new and make something totally different and unique and eclectic. So we can give it a try. So here we have the uh, for Lunasa or Lamas or Schnittfest, Cutting Festival. Mm, come on, just a bit. It really do don't want to focus. I don't know, but I guess you can get an impression of it. So this is for the autumn equinox. Oh, come on. Ah, ah, look at that. Just a little bit of shift. This is so detailed here for the autumn equinox. Yeah, these are a lot, lot of offerings for the gods. Honey, milk and bread and fruit and also flowers. This is lovely. I love the carved stones in the background. So you can see there are sometimes... Well, there are not so much differences between Celts, Celts and uh, the old Germans or Germanics. Um, sometimes it's also said that there is no such thing as the Germanics or the Germans, the old Germans itself. There were certain different tribes that were um, living in this area here and there were also Celtic tribes living here and they had some certain traditions that melted and mingled over the time and yeah but we yeah in yeah we totally forgot about them it, so it's totally different from from England where this kind of thing is still alive the Celtic vibe is still alive and here we don't have that anymore, and like I said, um, since the time of uh, of Hitler, um, yeah, it's also not so appropriate anymore. Because there are some uh, uh, new neo pagans uh, that um, rely on the try to rely on the old German or old Germanic traditions, which are actually there are not much um, writings about them. Um, and so 
um, they got often uh, these kind of uh, neo pagan movements got quite um, occupied by the media and uh, they are telling things like oh when you're doing this are you actually maybe an uh, a Nazi or so. So this is hard to connect with, with uh, ancient wisdom here in Germany. So here we have the last one for so win. For the second full moon after the autumn equinox, and this is here Ahnen Gedenken, the remembrance of the ancestors, and they are bringing offerings. Uh, to their ancestors here. And I really like that. So, and now to the last stack of cards here. We are coming to the gods. And now we have to look if my camera wants to focus for this rune they have mentioned. <sighs> Can I see it on their clothings? Yeah, there is. there are runes. But if my camera don't want to focus, you won't be able to... There. Look at the bottom of their... Look at the bottom of their clothings. There you can see it. And on their arm sleeves, you can also see the runes there. And I have to look which rune it was. It was the this kind of peace rune I told you about. Well, the booklet don't want to open. And I have to balance this card here. So we have to go. Algis, the rune Algis. Yeah, yeah wearing it actually these three nornen which are called um urd verdandi and skuld yeah goddesses of the fate and they are weaving the fate thread to say and uh it's said here that they are most likely the daughters of the of of a uh, of a giant actually hmm interesting interesting well Come here. I always tend to get on my little clever camera setup here. <laughs> so here we come to Iduna, which I told you before that she is uh, giving the, her the apples of her garden to the gods and stands for life force and spring and youth and so on. Yeah. If my camera. Yeah, look at her. She looks like she's wearing nothing except the apples here. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this hero here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is Balder. Uh, yeah. The one that got killed by a cunning Loki. And really, I don't know. He, he looks a bit like, a, like, a, like an actor. Uh, but I don't know his name. Um... He look like he looks like um one of the um actors who played one of the uh one of the doctors in the Doctor Who series. Ah, oh, but I don't know but I don't know know his name. I will find it and put it in. He looked like the and I have to find it. I, I think it is the fifth doctor he was playing. He really looks like him. A bit shorter hair maybe, but he looks a bit like him. So, yeah, this is Balder. And now we come to Freya. Look at the gorgeous Freya here. Oh, look at that. Look at the falcon. Or the hawk. Falcon or hawk. And, um, yeah, a cat. And it's said that um, the, <laughs> the kind of uh, uh, Heizschmuck, what does that mean? Kind of... Uh, thing she wears around her neck um this was forged by four dwarves and um as uh yeah an act of thankfulness yeah she made love with them with all of them so interest <laughs> yeah uh, okay um it is said that all the uh the um the warriors that died in battle that half of them are uh, belonging to her and the other half to odin so yeah yeah and um 
okay, she is she is also one of the the highest Valkyrie, and uh, is also called uh, Valfreya. So interesting, and her twin brother, of course, her antlered twin brother here. This fire. Yeah, and um, and this is said here uh, uh, about his uh, yeah his little thing with uh, the giant Gerda. Uh, it is said that he uh, sat on the throne of Odin, although it was forbidden. And when he sat there, he uh, saw, he witnessed uh, the the giant Gerda, and yeah, fell for her. So yeah. Uh yeah, and this is uh this is this is him. I still have to search for some information here which could be interesting. Um Okay, he said uh, he said here that uh when he said when he saw Gerda he sent his best friend Skirnir uh yeah to to go to her and yeah uh <laughs> I don't know the right word the right word actually and make some advertisement for him about how cool he is <laughs> and um and it is said here um that she uh, refused him she didn't want to marry him um but later then she was okay with that as we can assume and um it is said that Skilnir is also the first sunbeam of spring. And, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, what uh, did I say at the first, at the first sunbeam of spring, um, yeah, the, we, we celebrate the, uh, the courtship. Um, now I have the word courtship for Brautwerbung. <laughs> We celebrate the courtship at Ostara, actually, and uh, here the uh, the wedding is then um, on Beltane. It's not so different, maybe, than uh, the Celtic tradition. So now we are coming to cunning Loki. Look at this; <laughs> he looks really cunning. And a bit evil also. <laughs> a bit evil. Yeah. And, okay, he has actually three children. Hel, Fenrir, and uh, Jormungand. Wow, what a name. Um, okay, what he said. Okay, uh, the, the children he has with the giant, with the female giant, Angro. Oh, God. These names are really, really terrible. <laughs> uh, Engboda. And uh, he's having uh, three children with him, uh, with her. Um, Hel, Fenrir, and Jog uh, Jormungand. <laughs> and it is said that these three children are killing the other gods in the so-called Ragnarok. This is the fate of the, the gods, it is called. Yeah, and yeah, and is he's connected like you can see here is connected to the um, element of fire. And also, I got I don't know it, what he's holding in the hand. It looks a bit like a misbel or so. I don't know. Mm, so almost there. Now he will come for Thor. Actually, for Thor with his hammer Mjolnir. Or Thor's hammer, <laughs> and he's he, he's quite skilled with that hammer. He killed a lot of giants with that to uh, establish establish balance in the world. And yeah, he's the god of of thunder and flash, as you can see here on the picture. Um, okay, um, and it is also said here that what. I, mentioned before that he is the god of the farmers and he is uh, uh, on his way with a carriage drawn by, I don't know if it is called, drawn by two uh, 
yeah two male goats <laughs> let's say let's it's in this goats have all have uh, have quite oh terrible name ten grisnir and ten gnos or gnostra oh, <laughs> i'm really bad at that really bad at that and now we come to a stepmother frick frick the stepmother heron heron i know i say heron Ugh. I'm bad. I'm mixing English. I'm I'm starting to talk Dinglish, mixture between Deutsch and English. <laughs> uh, she is the mistress of the Asen and the wife of Odin, of course. She owns a lot of wisdom and knowledge about the future, but she doesn't talk about it. And... Um, uh, she's taking uh, oaths by human and punish them that are breaking those oaths. So um, here it is also said that, and now it comes to full circle, that she's also um, she's also uh, known as Frau Holle in the fairy tales. So it makes sense that in the Wild Hunt, Odin uh, writes with her. So with with his wife uh, why does don't this camera just want to focus she's so gorgeous looking we can come to her husband now actually at the same time odin all father and yeah and uh, it is said that before his throne there are two wolves lying, called Gary and Freaky. And in his hand, you can see his spear. Is it the right name? Uh, called um, Gugnir. Gungnir. Oh, these names are really terrible for my time. Um, he is. He's a lot of things. He is not only uh, only the 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 chef of all the northern gods there he's also the death god the warrior god he's a magician and a shaman god of wisdom and poetry and ecstasy <laughs> yeah um because uh he's also the lord of uh of his two friends hugen and moonin he's also called rafna god which means raben god or raven god mm. okay okay um yeah that's all i find here <laughs> maybe a lot of more things but uh i guess ah this is good now you can see them both yeah you can see also hugin and moonin on this card it's actually not so much about Hugin and Moonin. Uh, you are more of in the role of both of these messenger ravens and uh, try to find as much uh, news for your for your loyal master, for your master and um, bring these news to him. So this was a memory card game. And uh, when you see uh, the descriptions in the booklet, it is said that you can play this game when you just want to play the memory card game, that you can play it with all the cards, if you're really good, or you just start to, uh, you start to select and maybe just go for the runes or the festivals or the festivals and the gods and so on. And just, or even the, the nine worlds, so... You uh, can adjust to that, but you can also you can also use it for divination, I guess. Um, I s just started with it, and um, I will surely make uh, a video about when I'm more skilled with that. But um, immediately when I saw the booklet, I saw uh, I, th I thought, okay, this is not just this is not just an an ordinary memory card game you can use it for more so yeah this is an epic long video <laughs> i know it and i have 
to cut uh, or to edit some pieces together uh, because my you might notice that um, my camera uh, died uh, certain times uh, not certain times a couple of times uh, during the process I thought I had enough of memory card uh, uh, space but uh, I don't know why this camera starts to collapse after uh, after 30 minutes so I will have to find that out and sort that out sort that out so I hope still hope you you stayed with me the whole process maybe you learned a bit of about that as I told you you can get this um, this deck still on Amazon th uh, through the uh, via the the, the market uh, place uh, places there and maybe also elsewhere it is still available it is still available but um, I don't know if it's still uh, produced because um, even here in on Amazon Germany you uh, could only get it on the marketplaces so maybe it's soon out of print or it is already out of print and you can just get a few copies of them so I hope you liked it uh stay tuned for next sunday or the week after that for the next uh, lightning of the candle um and for the element of fire we will see with what i'm coming up then so thanks for watching and i wish you the best of all weeks bye